Greetings from Edu Aspirants, our YouTube channel to ACE Academics, competitive exams, entrance exams, and also for enrichment of knowledge. In the series of our videos on current affairs for 2024, this is the eighth video in which we shall cover the current affairs for the second fortnight of April. The Indian Institute of Science, IISA. I hope you know where it is. It is in Bangalore. It has developed a sustainable hydrogen to remove microplastics from water. And what size? Microplastics and particles less than 5 millimeters in size. From where? From the oceans, soil and even in the air we breathe, which pose a threat to human health. The hydrogen, a unique polymer network, binds and degrades microplastics using ultraviolet light irradiation. The hydrogen composed of three polymer layers and nanoclusters of a material called copper substitute polyoxometallate Cu bomb has shown high efficiency in removing polyvinyl chloride and poly propylene microplastics from water. The hydrogel consists of three different polymer layers which are chitosan, polyvinyl alcohol and polyaniline intertwined together making what? Making an interpenetrating polymer network IPN architecture. Very important for the forthcoming exams. Keep revising. And this is a picture showing the pathways of microplastic contamination. Anthropogenic source of microplastics. This is what we throw as waste. Aquatic biota consume this microplastic from here and become sick. Microplastic adsorption by IPN hydrogel, pgel at the IPN hydrogel photocatalytic degradation of absorbed microplastics. This is the sunlight coming here, ingestion of microplastics even by humans. And the size is less than five millimeter. April 18 is celebrated as, yes, it is celebrated by UNESCO, but what? as World Heritage Day, honoring cultural sites globally. It is also the International Day for Monuments and Sites, emphasizing preservation of heritage. Recognized by UNESCO, it celebrates significant cultural and natural sites. The theme for this year, 2024, is Discover and Experience Diversity, urging reflection on our global treasures. It emphasizes understanding diverse cultures, traditions, and ecosystems, fostering appreciation for our shared heritage. India's 17-year-old chess grandmaster, Gukesh D. The FIDE candidates 2024 in Canada by accumulating nine points in 14 rounds. He created history by becoming the youngest chess player to win with the candidates. He is the second Indian after five time world champion Vishwanathan Anand to win this competition. With the win, Gukesh D has also become the youngest ever world chess championship contender. He will now contest the world chess championship later. Uh, this is our man from India. Proud of him. World Earth Day is a globally recognized event. This is the logo, which is in different colors. Green for environment. To raise awareness and promote sustainability. It is observed every year on April 22. It origins date back to 1969 when junior senator from U.S. Wisconsin Gaylord Nelson announced the idea for a 
teach in on college campuses to raise awareness about pollution. The world's most powerful space telescope, James Webb Space Telescope, has discovered what scientists called the strongest, most promising sign of life on another planet, and they are set to investigate it. Exoplanet K218b located, and this is the picture, located 124 light years away from the Earth. You know what is one light year? It is the distance between Sun and the Earth. Is highly likely to have dimethyl sulfide DMS gas in its atmosphere. On Earth, DMS gas is only produced by light. So if DMS is available in the atmosphere of this exoplanet, life should be there. The phenomenon caused by a sudden swell of the seas, which results in very rough waves, is called the Kalakadal phenomenon. A picture showing that it is experienced during this month, in the summer months probably, all along the Kerala's coastline and parts of Tamil Nadu's southern coast. India's men's recurve team clinched gold at the Archery World Cup Stage 1 by defeating South Korea. And by defeating South Korea this time, they broke the 14-year-old gold drought. And the triumphant trio are Dheeraj, Doma Devra, Tarun Deep Rai and Praveen Chadha. You see this picture? This marked India's highest ever medal tally in an archery World Cup. We won a total of eight medals, which included five golds, two silvers and one bronze. India had sent a 16-member squad featuring eight men and eight women, and this competition was held in Shanghai. This brings us to the end of our video on current affairs, in which we covered the second fortnight of April 2024. Keep revising, you will surely get some questions from this video in your forthcoming exams. Subscribe, like, share, and do press the bell icon for updates.